Hello, I'm Edward Bumblebee, and I'm about to blow your mind. So what I want to do here is a quick edit to an item. I'm going to zoom in to the item real quick. I want to normalize it to zero loops. I'm going to zoom to a track selection so I can align this hit to another hit. Now I'm going to open the take envelope. I'm going to create a point. I want to change the style of this point. That's about it. We'll just zoom out to the rest of the project. Here I have some guitars I imported into a track. I want to rename them to get rid of those numbers. Then I'm going to put them in a folder and I'm going to name that guitars. I want to change the colors real quick, so I'll just change the colors. And then I'm going to loop this item so I can start working on it. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Don't you wish that you could remember all those shortcuts just lickety split like that? Well, you can. Or you can just use your mouse. So let me explain how Radial Menu works. You get a menu system, just like this, and it's in a radius, like a circle. Hence the name Radial Menu. This makes it so you don't have to move your mouse much to browse menus. You can see how many items I have here just zipping around. I can go with MIDI editor, note length, back out, track options. I can just zoom through a bunch of stuff here. I will explain those letters around there later. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go through the options. Here is where you can set up each menu item. If you want to select a menu item, you hold shift and click it. And now you can set up stuff. This sets the action that happens like this jumps to the menu named windows. And I could shift click here and this is opening the action. The rest of the options are pretty obvious, I think. There's something else called context here where if I want it to jump to a specific menu when I select track, I can do that. So let's say I want to jump to the track menu. What is that called here? Let's go with track actions. That is menu number 26. I'll set this to 26 and we'll close that. So now when I am over a track and I open this, it goes straight to the track menu. So let's open that back up. Swiping is another thing that you can do if I enable swiping. I can just move my mouse real quick to select something. I don't have to click. I don't have to click any buttons. We'll go back to this, turn off swiping. There's a variety of other options you can set up. The size of the ring, fonts, colors. You can set up these key bindings, which I'll explain soon. There's other options. I strongly suggest using the options that I have here. You may want to change how the when shortcut is released works depending on your use of the menu. And of course you can get help. I suggest going through the help to learn how to do things. That's pretty important. Also make sure that you donate. To install Radial Menu the first thing you need to do is go to reapack.com and follow the directions there for installing Reapack. Once you have Reapack installed go to Reapack, Browse Packages, Type radial, right click radial menu, click install. It'll be where it says reinstall for me because I have it installed. And then click apply. Now you have radial menu installed. All right, so let me explain how I use radial menus. This is me. This is my head. Like everybody, I have things that I need to remember. But unlike most people, I like to use a large number of softwares. So I need to remember a lot of things. And people often ask me, how do I do that? How do I remember these things? Well, firstly, I don't. I forget a lot. But I do seem to remember more than most people, and I do seem to be able to find things faster than most people once I know where they are. That's important. Where they are. That's how I remember things. Imagine a room. Think of a room that you're really familiar with. You know where everything is, and you can walk through that room in your head. Now, as you walk around that room, place things that you need to remember in that room. Over in the chair, imagine a bunch of track actions. This bowl of fruit isn't filled with fruit. It's filled with ways that you work with automation points. And the painting itself is filled with automation actions. As you turn the globe, you don't see countries, but you see envelope actions. The kitchen is filled with ways that you can set up your project. And that cabinet over there, it isn't filled with China. It's filled with actions for your MIDI editor. Those are all my loop and selection commands for working with loops and selections. Of course, I'm not smart enough to come up with this on my own. 
This is called the method of Loki. This has been around for about 2100 years and it's nothing new. And I'm not here to teach you about how to use it. In fact, it's all up to you. You don't have to use this at all. With the radial menu, it doesn't matter. But using this technique will come naturally with radial menu. So let me open up radial menu and let me show you what I'm talking about. You can see that the menus are all located in places. These are places where I can remember the specific locations of actions. So I don't think about mapping shortcuts to take envelope pitch or take envelope mute or setting colors for takes. I just think about my take stuff is in the upper left of my room. And there it is. And for me, the R key on my keyboard always selects the upper left. So I know that to open the takes, I just hit A then R. A opens radial menu. R opens takes. So if I want to open up a specific window, I hit AD because I know my windows are in the upper right hand corner and that is always D for me. You can see that all I have to think about is where things are. I don't have to think about matching an arbitrary shortcut to some action that doesn't make sense with the shortcut. I just think about where these things are located in a physical space and they map to my keyboard. What do I mean by them mapping to my keyboard? On my keyboard, the letters A, R, S, T, and D are my home row for my left hand. I have those set up to be the top half of the radial menu. Z, X, C, V, and B are the bottom half of radial menu. So this is a radial menu with 10 slots. Let me show you how this looks with a QWERTY keyboard. It's the same thing, except for my top row would be A, S, D, F, and G. Look down at your keyboard and see where that is. Not all menus will have 10 slots. Some will have 5, 8, or 11, or anything in between. I just have 5, 8, and 11 shown here. So on the right, you can look and see how my menus extend and the keys that they are assigned to. The top half of my radial menu is always my home row. And the bottom half of my radial menu is always the row below my home row. As I get beyond 10, I extend it with F and P. I don't go higher than 12 slots. You can set your radial menu up how you want. Just make sure the locations of the menu match the locations on your keyboard. So I'm sure you're thinking, wow, that's super cool. I can do all that. Or maybe not. Well, the cool thing is that when you open up radial menu, which I have set to the A key, let me show you how to do that real quick. I open up my actions list. And then I type radial, and I select radial menu, and I set a shortcut for it. Now when I hit the A key, it opens up radial menu. So I can just hit that, and I can see everything, and I can slowly train myself where these items are and their corresponding shortcut. If I want to go to the take options, I can press A, and then I look and see that the R key will take me to the take menu. And look, there's all my take options. And then I press G to go back. So if I want to go to zoom, but I don't remember where zoom is, I hit A. I look on my screen, I see that zoom is in the upper right hand corner. Remember, location is important to train yourself with this. And then I hit T. Those are my zoom keys. And I know that zoom to project is Z. And then A, T, Z. There we go. If I want to open up the radial menu options, I know I hit A, D for windows, and V for radial menu. If I want to open up my he does script options, it's ADD. I think you get the idea. I have a ton of stuff. I'm not going to go through all of it. Remember as well that you can use this with the mouse using clicks or swipes. I hit A and then I select items and then set color if I want. Or, you know, I go and I hit track options and set the automation mode to read. It's important to realize that it took me some time to set up my radio menu how I want. You don't get all these things for free. I had to go through and create new menus and then click what I wanted and set up all the actions and the names of everything. This was a, a good bit of work. I mean, if you knew exactly what you wanted, you could probably set it all up in an hour or two. And there are a lot of you that know exactly what you want. If you don't know what you want, I suggest using the basic setup and just adding things as you go along. Every time you find an action that you use that isn't in radio menu, add it to radial menu. Next time, try to find it in radial menu. Just spend those extra 10 seconds or so trying to see if things are there. If they're not, then you add it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Check out my website, amrabumblebee.com. 
where you will find a text post companion to this video, which explains some extra things, and this explains some extra things that aren't there. Go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Admiral Bumblebee, and I will see you later. Thank you for watching. Radial Menu is awesome. Donate to Locusena. Thank you.